Zachary Ransom of Montrose Government Primary School is the winner in the primary school category of the Ministry of Education's Junior Suka competition. Zachary said he was elated to come first place in the primary school category with his song Rangatang. In 2023, he walked away with the third place trophy. Well, I improved a lot, first place to third. My goals are to be the biggest soccer um, person in the world. He had this advice for other children hoping to begin their own musical journey. Well, follow your dreams. Second place winner in the primary school category, Kimani Hector Kalu of St. Peter's RC School, shared his feelings after receiving the trophy. I feel fantastic and amazing. Kimani also shared that he wrote his song, Just Party. For me, it's not really hard. You know, just come up with the lyrics. You know, not really hard for me. In the secondary school category of the competition, Gabrielle McDonnell of St. Joseph's Convent San Fernando took first place with her piece, Versatility. My song is supposed to show the culture that we have in Trinidad and Tobago and the fact that we should display it to the entirety of the world. I think that's important because the amount of time and energy and effort that's put into our cultural display in Trinidad, it should be able to go across the world just like any other genre. The second place win in the secondary school category was also a win for Gabrielle and her family as that trophy was presented to her brother Marcus McDonald of Presentation College San Fernando for his song Rave. I say we ranting and we raving and we ranting and we raving all night long. All I gotta say is that once it's in the family, you know that first and second luck, and I can only lose the blood. You know what, love my sister right there, <laughs> but next year we coming back and I feel like I'll take it. Third place winner Jalisa Lazarus of Athens School of Education was happy to share the message in her song Focus. Focus, boys and books so much. I got homework to do, I don't know about you, but when I grow up I want to be somebody. I actually came second place last year, so we aim it for first next year. At the start of the competition, Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gansby Dolly encouraged the students to continue to support the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. These are the experiences that make a difference in the lives of our children. When we leave school, we remember these things. You remember when you came to the Carnival Village to support your school. You remember when you would have done a calypso or a soca and come out to perform in front of judges. These are the things that make our children strong patriots of Trinidad and Tobago. There were five primary school finalists and 14 secondary school finalists in the 2024 competition. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.